Christy here with another installment of my October Daily 2016 mini album. For this video, I'm working on days 11 through to the 16th. I'm falling a little bit behind. I just, we've had some busy weekends and I'm busy uh, sleep training Adeline, so I'm exhausted. <laughs> But uh, I hope to tackle a bunch this weekend and get up to date, even though this mini album's coming together pretty quickly. Uh, yeah, I'm not too, too worried. So for the 11th, we went to a local like petting zoo farm type place with my mommy group and we did like a pumpkin hunt and it was a really cold day and as you can see in the photo there, there is snow on the ground and we were not prepared for snow. So Nora's not really uh, dressed appropriately, <laughs> but um, so this is a double page spread for the 11th. I just added a die cut star from the doodle bug pack and then an acrylic star that I had in my stash and a tiny word sticker. That says chilly day uh, on that 4x4 four four photo. And now with the 2x2 two two, uh, pocket page, I'm just trimming down some papers. Decided to go with the pumpkin one because we are on a pumpkin hunt. And there's a pumpkin on the sign there and Nora's holding a pumpkin. So I thought that was pretty perfect. And even though this paper, this polka dot paper is pretty busy as well, I wanted to bring in some more of the colors and didn't want it just to be orange. So, so I bring in that polka dot paper and I wanted to use uh, one of these uh, vellum hearts, which I love. That's from Seven Paper. They came out quite a while ago, but I love them. So I bought a bunch uh, not too long ago, and I just add a little doodle pop to the top there, and I like the way that looks. And I'm just creating a little journaling spot here with my numbers. Uh, I managed to find another pack of these numbers from Michaels, so they do still carry them if anyone's looking. Uh, they're just in with the thickers and things, and uh, it's a whole pack of just numbers, black glittery numbers, and there's tons of number ones and number twos, so it comes in really handy for a daily type album. So just did a little bit of journaling about uh, where we were at for that, and now I'm on to the 12th. The 12th was my birthday, and so I'm just creating uh, a dub another double page uh, spread here. Uh, I wanted to do the 4x4 four four, uh, side of the spread first, just so that kind of set the tone for the little pockets. So I'm just skipping ahead a little bit. So chose this paper which is really fun and colorful and I chose the mummy because it was my birthday and I'm the mummy so um and then this little jar of eyeballs just because I don't it doesn't really signify anything and then I found these um these labels that I had in my stash they're by Heidi Swap and I think I received them probably in a gossamer blue kit quite a while ago and I think you could probably find them at Michael's as well but it's just a little pack of labels uh, and they have the black glitter so I thought that tied into the numbers pretty perfectly just use the Maggie Holmes gather uh, thickers to write B day and then just add some of these enamel dots. These enamel dots are by Freckled Fawn and I've had them in my stash for quite a while. They're quite an interesting palette of colors so I don't use those ones very often in my normal uh, project life or 12 by 12 layouts so I pulled them out for this album and just add a little bit more texture to that filler card. And now I'm just trying to figure out what to do on uh, these 2x2 two two squares. So wanting to bring in some more color, wanting to bring in some more black glitter. So I bring in this black pumpkin that's from the um, Prate Paper After Dark collection from last year. Uh, I only have a few of these thickers left. So I'm just kind of trying to spread them out throughout my album. 
which is getting pretty thick. I'm a little bit worried at this point. Like I said, I'm on day 16. And yeah, it's going to be pretty pretty explosive of an album. So anyway, behind the black glittery pumpkin, I just added one of those uh, die cut splats and uh, added the glitters, glitter uh, numbers onto that purple 2x2 two two square. Uh, and it's pretty simple, but I like the way it looks, just bringing in the colors from the striped paper. All right, on the 13th, we have this adorable photo of Adeline dressed up as Dobby from Harry Potter. Uh, I'm trying to do uh, monthly photos of uh, Adeline in a Harry Potter theme, and we had we had run we're running a little bit behind because this was for her three month photo, and which should have been on September 23rd, and here we are on October 13th, and I still hadn't done a photo. So I wanted to include that. So I just add the number 13 and a tiny word sticker that says make me smile and some enamel dots. Uh, my mom had crocheted that hat and uh, yeah, it was pretty, pretty adorable. All right, so now we're on to the 14th. Um, just the way that my photos worked out, I only had one photo for this pocket page. So I wanted to do... Uh, a bit of a shaker pocket. I found the, this glitter on clearance from Michaels uh, in the Halloween section and so it was only like two or three dollars for that big jar which I will never use all of and so I add some uh, add some little sparkly bits into that pocket and I will fuse it off camera later and then I add a uh, bow on top those bows are making my album pretty chunky too, but I love them. I love the texture that they they add to the album. And I just use a die cut piece onto that colorful um, pattern paper of uh, the pumpkin there. And, and now I'm using one of these frames that also came in the die cut pack. I just had to trim it down a little bit so that it um, fit in the 2x2 two two square. And then I'm just backing it onto some paper there so it doesn't shift around. And again, another pretty simple, pretty simple page. Uh, trying to, like I said, it, it's coming together pretty quick. Uh, and it's pretty simple, so yeah. Alright, so now that was the 14th. And it was just a photo of Adeline and Nora cuddling in bed. Um bedtime. Nora always needs to give Adeline kisses, so I just lay Adeline beside her for a minute. And it's pretty adorable. That photo is pretty adorable, so I had to include that. We didn't do much that day. So yeah. Alright, so now we're on the back side. This is for the 15th. Uh, and again, I only had the one photo, but I want I had printed it 4 by 4 so this is kind of another filler kind of uh, filler page. So because that bow, the adhesive from that bow is showing on the opposite side, I wanted to cover it up a little bit. That kind of stuff really bothers me. So I just added a little tiny strip of paper and a tiny word sticker just so that you can't see the adhesive. And then on the opposite side, you can't really see the paper when looking at the bow, if that makes any sense. So I'm just using one of the little cut aparts for one of the 2x2 two two squares there with the frog and the potions and stuff. Using this polka dot paper again to add the date, uh, the 15th. On this day, which was a Saturday, we went to art class with Nora. And so uh, we were working on this squirrel painting, which you'll see on the right hand side there in the 4x4 four four photo in a second. So I just add a little strip of green just so that these stickers pop a little bit more and add the word art. And uh, I don't do a lot of journaling. It's pretty self-explanatory. And I hope that in years to come I will remember that we were at art class. So yeah. Uh, and I'm just going to... Oh, I do add a journaling to this photo. I forgot that. So uh, I'm just going to use one of those glitter stickers labels again from Heidi Swap just to say that we worked on her squirrel painting at Four Cats Art Studio and add some gems and call that one done. 
So I'm just trying to bring colors in throughout, so lots of purples and greens and that sort of thing. And the enamel dots and gems really help to kind of tie it together uh, throughout the album. And it also helps me use up some of these enamel dots that I might not normally use uh, in the colors that I have. On the 16th, we were at my in-laws, and it was my nephew's birthday, so this is a photo of my nephew. So I just add this little Frankenstein dude uh, and the enamel, or the, the, sorry, gosh, can't talk, and the, uh, number 16. And now I'm just flipping through and just double checking that it kind of flows and uh, ties all together. So I just add some journaling there that says, sister cuddles and then I decided that this day the 12th needed some journaling so I just add one of these studio calico labels and just talk a little bit about my birthday I have like the worst memory so I just write down what I got for my birthday and that one is done so yeah see how thick it is getting oh my goodness all right thanks so much for watching we'll see you soon bye